with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Well, welcome back. Just turned 514 here on this Wednesday morning and we're looking out of our Emporia camera right now. Uh, we do have some clouds around and we may see a couple flashes of lightning. Here's some thunder this morning as we do have a couple little cells that are trying to move through. Central Topeka though looks good. We're dry here in Topeka, 85 degrees, feeling like 91 though, believe it or not, just after 5 a.m. Dew points at 72 and that's the reason we're feeling warmer. We're already warm just from how hot it was yesterday. Winds are out of the south and west at 8 miles per hour and we haven't really had an opportunity to cool down throughout the overnight hours because of our wind speeds that usually acts to keep things a little bit warmer paired with our higher humidity. It's just it's not a good recipe for cooling down during the overnights over the next few days. So wind speeds are running anywhere between about 5 and 10 miles per hour overall. Slightly stronger wind speeds now in Concordia as we are seeing some of those showers and storms getting a little bit closer in that location. So that's where you're seeing those higher wind gusts. Throughout the rest of the day, we are expecting a southerly breeze about 10 to maybe as high as 15 miles an hour. But we are going to see a bit of a wind shift for tomorrow, mostly out of the east, and that's going to keep temperatures just a little bit cooler than what we're going to see today. So if we can get through today, it's all downhill after this. Temperatures are in the mid to upper 70s to the north and east, low to mid 80s everywhere else. 80 degrees at Lawrence, 82 at Emporia and Burlington, 86 degrees in Junction City and Clay Center. Now later on today, we will be warming things up into the upper 90s to low 100s again, so another very hot, humid afternoon. Tonight, though, we'll probably be able to cool down into the middle 70s, so it should feel a little bit better than what we're seeing this morning, and then we'll likely be in the low to mid 90s coming up for tomorrow afternoon. So slightly cooler, still pretty warm for this time of the year, but overall we're heading in the right direction over the next few days. Dew points are in the upper 60s to low 70s, maybe a few mid 70s further off to the east, and that's feeling pretty muggy here this morning already. We're expecting those dew points in the lower 70s throughout this afternoon again, giving us these really high heat index values. So already by our 10 a.m. lunchtime, we're talking like we're feeling in the low 100s, probably around 105 to 110 again this afternoon. So make sure you're taking it easy out there. Plenty of breaks, lots of water. We're kind of uh, professionals at this by this point, but we do have a few of those showers and storms moving through this morning. We are watching this wave of energy coming through western and north central Kansas, and we are starting to see some showers and storms kind of developing out ahead of that. So that's what we're watching this morning. We do have the opportunity to see a few of those storms making their way all the way through northeast Kansas. So everybody cross your fingers that you see a little bit of rain this morning. There is that uh, piece of energy here. You can kind of see this little ripple in the jet stream. South of there, though, that's where we're seeing that area of high pressure where we have been seeing it over the last several days. So that's keeping us hot and humid, but at least we're getting some opportunities for rain over the next few days because of that. So we may see those showers moving through this morning, could see some redevelopment later this afternoon. And then again throughout the night tonight into tomorrow morning, once again, we may see a few isolated showers or storms coming up for Friday. Same story, we could see some overnight activity Thursday into early Friday that moves through and then we're going to dry out for the end of the week. So we do have another chance for storms and this one actually looks to be the best chance uh, for the next several days that comes up Saturday night and into Sunday with the passage of a cold front. So temperatures will be kind of steadily dropping off until that point. After th that cold front moves through Sunday through the first part of next week looks so much better. Lower humidity temperatures in the middle 80s. Stay with us. We'll be right back.